So what better place uh, to be today than, than in the cavern on Matthew Street and with me is John, one of the directors. Um, 75 years, John Lennon would have been 75 today. Yeah. In your opinion, John, what's, what's he left behind? What's his legacy? I th well, I always say it's, it's, it's the music. I mean, you can, you can delve further and further into, into any of the Beatles, you know, but it's about the music. Mm. And I, there's, the, there's this thing about, you know, the, the myth behind John Lennon, you know, he was this, he was that, you know, he, he was everything. It, you know that's the reality he was a human being and he was flawed and he was a genius he was this and that but listen to his music and it's all there uh, that's that's the way i look at it you know uh, and that's what he's left the world um is you know the fantastic body of work with the beatles and some great stuff as a solo artist and some honest you know thought-provoking music mm -hmm. as well you know? if he would have still been around today how, how, how do you think he'd be living his life do you think he'd be in Liverpool do you think he'd be at the cavern or what would no, he be no, doing no of course he wouldn't be he, he wouldn't be in Liverpool or the cavern um, I'm sure I think he'd pop in for a pint though I don't know about that but I'll tell you what, what's <laughs> interesting and, and, and this is this is was, was, has been proven and stuff but just before um, he died he was planning a trip back to Liverpool wow. which, and that was in 1980 um, alongside I think he was becoming as you do when you get to I mean, forties young. I mean, you know, yeah. But you get to a, a certain age and you start reminiscing a bit. You know, he'd, he'd already had been in touch with members of his family back in Liverpool. You know, to send him his original um, Quarry Bank High School tie, which he wore. Mm. You know, his famous shots in there. So he was starting to get nostalgic for for Liverpool and for England because he hadn't been since that. He yeah. left in seventy because of the all the visa uh, green card issues. So I'm sure he would have come back. I, I what. What he'd be doing, I don't know. You know, he, I, he'd be. I'm sure he would have been still active in in some way and using uh, his fame to to make a point, which he always did, and which which Yoko's continued to do. Would he be touring like Paul is now? Would he be still making music? Do you see think? That. I can't see that. I, I I. I mean, Paul. You know, as soon as the Beatles split, went out on the road and wanted to get a new band, and that's what Paul. That's what Paul does and is and does it so well. Mm. Uh, John, I, I I don't think so. I think I don't know. I, I quite often think you know when you see stuff, you know what 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 would what would Lennon think of that now? Yeah, you yeah. know because he you know he, he could be cynical about it. You know, he, he could have turned his back completely. Mm. He could have become an almost recluse again, or he could have been. Who knows? I think I think it's it's the it's the open question really, mm. isn't it? Because even you know in that the last couple of years of his life you know he was still he was very much ahead of the game and you yeah. know and using influences of what, of what the disco scene that he got into the reggae influence then the whole disco scene which which Yoko continues so I think as an artist um, he, he, he could have been he could could have been doing a number yeah. of things tell us let's let's talk about you guys obviously the cabin it's I've just said to you on the way and it's great to see so many punters in in the day you know it's, yeah. it's two o'clock in the afternoon at the moment and and it's chocker in there is it, is it like that every day it, it is I'm, I'm glad to say um not only from a business point of view but also it's from liverpool's point of view i mean this is it's a different city now mm. and the beatles industry which is a real industry now um and ourselves and all the other main partners you know this we're at the heart of of, of really of, of the new liverpool and i always say the, the numbers of, that you see in here and the nationalities at any given day, I mean, we start the music at 2 o'clock during the week, non-stop, midday. But you, you could do a, a quick survey in there and that's your snapshot of who's in the city yeah. in terms of international visitors, UK visitors. And it's, uh, it's, it's really an indication of... of, of how good the city is exactly, really exactly today you're, you're doing a lot at the cabin there's a big show happening tonight which is, which is friday night to mark john's birthday um you've got a big old lineup for that one mate yeah it's a good one we've got um we've, we've got our own resident beetle band our official resident beetle band the cabin club beetles so they'd be pay, paying their tribute to john um we've got a brazilian john lennon tribute band right uh who've come over especially to do it they're actually recording uh, they've just recorded a, a live dvd here so i've got them on the bill so for them to find themselves in liverpool on this day and you know i've invited them onto the bill uh, that's great because but again it shows the international mm. draw but the very very special guests tonight are the quarrymen john's wow. original band um they did something for us this year at beetle week which was fantastic at the royal court and they are our special guests tonight so i mean you're, you're going back to 1957 yeah. You know, That's so, so uh, 
you know, we're not making this is it's as always with any birthdays or anniversaries to do with uh, the Beatles and, and anniversaries with John and George. We do always do what we do mm. best, which is the music. So tonight we're going to be covering music from you know, as I say, you know, the beginning, the big right at the beginning, um, 1957 with the Quarrymen, and you know, and right the way through. I'm going to ask you a question and put you on the spot. Obviously, you've got your own Beatles tribute band here at the Cavern. Yeah. Um, out of all the bands and tributes you've seen over the years, have you got one where you've gone, wow? And you're not allowed to say your own. You're not allowed to mention your own. <laughs> well, I used to do a John Lennon tribute. Uh, I don't know. There's different times. There's different times. I mean, I remember in the in the '90s when I I I'm, I, I left drama school. And my first job was portraying John Lennon mm. on stage, and I went to see a band called Cavern. Um, who are endorsed by the Cavern, and they're still going today in a different lineup. But at the time, their their John Lennon was a guy called Gary Gibson. He was unbelievable. He still is today. You know, I, I did a festival in Brazil with him recently. Um, he was great. Uh, I've seen the Bootleg Beatles yeah. at various times, and they've been great. But all these bands, the well-established bands, they go through different lineups. We bring probably seventy Beatle bands over every year for Be the Beatle Festival. So we see, we, you know, we'll, we'll have the best from each country and they're coming over and some of the, there's, there's a, a young band we've had over a few wow. times from the Philippines, believe it wow. or not. They're called the Rio Brothers, there's four of them and they are brothers. Um, and they're incredible. They could, don't speak a word of English. Mm, but they can do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but, and a lot of the, but all the bands do that, all the Japanese bands and all the, all the but they've actually got the, they, they can reproduce mm. the, the, the scouse nice. tones, yeah. which, which a lot of the, the foreign bands can't. But there's so many good bands. The Fab, Fab Four in, uh, in America, they're one of the, they're, they're, there's, there's, there's great Beatle bands yeah. everywhere. There's also some not so great. <laughs> yeah. and, I'm, and I'm, you know, yeah. I'm not, I think as long as, you know, it's, it's different budgets and mm. different locations. Obviously at the Cavern, we only present the best. The, best. And the Cavern Club Beatles, um, it's the first time we've actually officially put a, a Beatle band together because we do believe they are mm. the best and the, all from Liverpool. Well, brilliant. Well, listen, thanks for chatting. Lots happening in the cabin all day long to celebrate John's 75th and, and the big show tonight, which, which is sold out. So if it you is go sold out. Uh, enjoy. But, but come and explore the cabin. Come down of a day because there's a great atmosphere here now and, yeah. and every day as well. There's Absolutely. Stuff going on. Absolutely. And, there's, and even today, the big show sold out, but there's live music on the front stage, you know, from midday right the way through till two o'clock in the morning. Brilliant. John from the cabin, thank you. Sam. Cheers.